Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called VLAN Basics. A LAN is a local area network and is defined as a network where all the connected devices can broadcast to each other. A VLAN is a virtual LAN, meaning that all the ports of a switch are grouped into separate LANs and those LANs cannot communicate with each other without a routing device. This works by having an administrator put some switch ports in one VLAN and other ports in another VLAN. Each VLAN is a single broadcast domain. For example, some ports on the switch can be in VLAN 10 and other ports on the switch can be in VLAN 20. Network traffic from one VLAN will not be seen by any other VLAN without a routing device. An important fact is that you can take a switch right out of the box and all the devices that are connected to it will be able to talk with one another by default. All the switch ports are in VLAN 1 by default. One reason why you will want to separate the network devices into separate VLANs is for network bandwidth efficiency. If a local network has over a hundred devices and a number of the devices are sending out broadcasts, the network speed will slow down as a result. VLANs can also be used to secure network areas. For example, all the computers for the security or human resource departments can be placed in a VLAN separate from the rest of the organization. The VLAN command creates the VLAN for the switch. The interface range fast ethernet command is not an actual VLAN command but it's useful for configuring a large range of interfaces at one time. The switch access VLAN command assigns a specific VLAN number to be used by the interface, but it does not actually put the interface in VLAN configuration mode. The switch mode access command does actually put the switch interface into the VLAN access mode. Here we have four computers connected by a switch with a 10.0 network. All four computers have no problem pinging each other. Here we are using computer A to send a broadcast ping to all of the other computers. Note that the number 255 at the end of the IP address, which in this case is the broadcast IP address for that network. Now, let's put the switch port connecting computer A and computer B in VLAN 10 and the ports connecting computer C and computer D in VLAN 20. Computer A and Computer B 
can still communicate with each other, but they cannot communicate with computer C and computer D. Likewise, computer C and computer D can communicate with one another, but not with computer A and B. All four computers still have the same IP addresses as before, but the communication between the VLANs is blocked. This reduces the number of unnecessary broadcast traffic received by the computers. I should point out that normally we would give each VLAN a different range of network IP addresses. In the next video, we will see how we can allow all the computers to talk with one another again. We have looked at how VLANs could be used to reduce the number of devices connected to single broadcast domains and for the securing of network devices. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.